In this lesson, we are going to use the words pitch and slope. You remember from algebra that slope means rise over run or the change in y over the change in x. You may remember that we used m for slope and we used a formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's if you had ordered pairs and you were looking for how steep that the line is. If you have a coordinate system and you have a line that has a rise of 1 and a run of 2, a rise of 1 and a run of 2, then you have a line that has a slope of 1 over 2 or a slope of 1 half. So a line that has a slope of 1 half looks like this. In construction, carpenters consider the steepness of a roof to be the roof's pitch. So if I have a house and I'm interested in the pitch of the roof, then I need to look at the rise over the run. So if I look at the rise, one, two, three, and the run, one, two, three, four, then this hat, this line, this roof has a pitch of three to four. Now in the problems that you are going to be working with, you are going to be looking for how high the peak of the roof is to the attic floor. You're going to be looking at the length of a rafter and you're going to be finding the area of the roof. So you'll have this side and you'll have this side that you will be finding the area for. Other places that we deal with slope is <clears throat> when we are looking at a wheelchair ramp. And a wheelchair ramp has a rise of 1 and a run of 12. So this would be, this line would represent the steepness in a rise of 1, run of 12, which is a wheelchair ramp. Another place that you will deal with <clears throat> rise over run is in a step. So let's say that the step has a run of 11 
and a rise of seven and a half. So the steepness of that step is rise over run. All right. <clears throat> Let's say that you know that the pitch of a roof is one to four. And I have a building that is 20 feet wide. I want to know how far it is from the peak of the roof to the attic floor. So this is the number that I'm looking for. Well, typically the peak of the roof is centered on the building. So that would mean that the perpendicular distance from the peak to the attic floor would bisect the segment. So this would be 10 feet and 10 feet over here. So what I have set up looking at just this half is a right triangle. But I can't use the Pythagorean theorem because I have two unknowns. I don't know the length of the rafter and I don't know the height of this leg. But I do have a situation where I can set up two similar triangles. And similar triangles have sides that are proportional and angles that are congruent. So if I use the pitch to make a triangle of rise of one and run of four, It is similar to the triangle that is created where the rise is x and the run is 10. So I can set up a proportion showing the rise over run is equal to the rise over run. I do the product of the extremes, 1 times 10, is equal to the product of the means. These are the extremes. These are the means. So that's 10 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4. x is 10 over 4 and that will reduce to 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. You can leave it as 5 over 2 or you can make it as a decimal 2 and 5 tenths. Now the next question 
will be how long is the rafter? Y. So it would be looking just at here to here. Well, now that I have two sides of the right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem where I would have leg squared plus leg squared would be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So 10 squared is 100, 5 halves squared is 25 fourths, and that's equal to y squared. So I'm going to take <clears throat> the square root of 100 plus 25 fourths and I get y to be approximately 10 and 3 tenths feet. Now, what if I want to have a one foot overhang onto the rafter? How long would it be? So I take the value I got for y and add 1. So that would be approximately 11 and 3 tenths feet if I want the rafter plus an overhang. All right, now let's say that the building is 30 feet long. What would the area of the roof be? So I'm going to take the length of the rafter plus the one foot overhang and I'll multiply it by the length of the building which is 30 feet. Now that will give me only the area of this half. So I need to double that in order to get the area of the other half. So I multiply 2 times 11 and 3 tenths times 30. So the area of the roof is 678 feet squared. All right, let's do one of these together. Let's say that you have a pitch of one to three and we have a building that is 24 feet wide and you want to know how far it is from the peak of the roof to the attic floor. All right, I'm going to give you a few minutes to work on that.
right, check your work. So it's four feet. Okay, the next question is how long is the rafter with a one foot overhang? And check your work. Okay, then the last question is, what is the area of the roof? need some more information. Let's say that the building is 20 feet long. Check your work. 